everyone, welcome back to another new video and if you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. So today's look was meant to be completely different to how it is right now on the screen as you can see, but I am super, super happy with this one. So if you would like to see how I created it, keep on watching. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel and turn on that notification bell so you do not miss any more content from me. So let's head straight into the tutorial. So to start today's look off, I'm using the P. Louise base in shade 3. This shade is perfect for my skin tone and kind of acts like a concealer, so I do like to tidy up my brows as well, even though I already do that with an actual concealer. And I'm just going to pack that all over my eyelid, up to my brow bone, and I'm mainly doing this just because the eye look does need to come above my crease area, just because I do have hooded eyes. So obviously, wherever I'm going to pack on my eyeshadow, I'm covered with this base. For the base colour, I'm diving into Juvia's Place's Magic Palette and taking the shade Kessie, which is this amazing matte beige colour. Honestly, it is hands down my favourite shade for a base colour when I want to open my eye, look up and brighten my eye. I just think it works so well on my skin tone and it blends beautifully and I've been using it for years and I just absolutely love it, honestly. Because I have hooded eyes, I am making sure I'm taking it all the way up to my brow bone just to keep my eyes looking like, you know, they're a lot wider and bigger than they are. Alrighty, moving on to Beauty Bay's Origin Palette and I'm taking shade 5 from the Transition at Row. Is it Row? Yeah, it is. <laughs> and I'm going to very, very lightly pack it on just above my crease and I'm going to then very gently and lightly start blending it in a sweeping motion. And I'm going to focus most of the colour on the outer corner of my eye than the inner third of my eye. My voice is kind of going, please excuse me. <laughs> so I'm going to keep doing that until I'm happy with the colour payoff but just make sure you keep the strokes light and gentle. Moving on to the blues, I'm taking Yacht Life from Coloured Rain's Vivid Pigment Palette and I accidentally didn't record this part at the start, <laughs> which rhymes. What I've done is pressed the eyeshadow above my crease very, very gently because I want to keep an eye on how high I'm making the new crease for my eye shape and I'm gently brushing it as well as I go along with like the side of the brush just to work the colour into itself as you can kind of see and I'm going to continue to press it into my crease and just above as well and more or less all over my lid as well. Remember if you have hooded eyes to keep looking straight ahead into a mirror so you can see how your eye naturally relaxes so you're not bringing in the eyeshadow a bit too low rather than above your crease and also keep going back into the first shade that we used to start blending the two colours together and right now I'm just going back over the blue because you can kind of see it's not fully on my lid like it's a bit patchy but that's okay because we are going in with more colours. Switching back to the Magic palette by Juvie's Place I'm taking the shade Yeju Day. I think I pronounced that right and it's a really nice matte navy blue and I'm going to focus this right on the outer third of my eye and it's going to help elongate my eye shape. Now because I have a small eye shape and also hooded eyes as well, you can see I'm just gently patting it because I don't want to go in a bit too much with this colour and then mess the whole look up obviously and I am switching between this and also Yacht Life from Coloured Rain's palette. I'm not really picking up any new product from Yacht Life, I'm just using the brush with any product left over on it to just help blend the two blues together. And I just want to reiterate if you do have hooded eyes just remember to keep looking back straight into the mirror so you can see where you're packing on this colour and to make sure you don't go overboard or underboard <laughs> with the eye look. Okay, so next I'm taking this black shade from the Beauty Bay Orange and Palette and I'm going to very, very lightly apply this to the outer corners of my eye to really, really deepen up this eye look and bring it all together a bit more 
Um, just be super careful with the black of course whichever one you use this one I wouldn't say is the most pigmented black I've ever used so I think it's quite perfect to add to this look to make sure I'm not using too much product and I'm going back in with a, with a blue <laughs> no I'm going back in with Yacht Live to make sure it's all blended together again I think this is so important to keep blending all the colours that you've used so you're not making it look a bit rough <laughs> Now moving on to the shimmers and I'm taking Cleopatra from the Nubian 2 palette by Juvia's Place and I'm going to apply that all over the very first half of my lid and you can see how super pigmented this uh, shadow is, it's so beautiful, I think it's one of my favourite colours. I'm also very lightly taking it above my crease line as well and then blending it back out with the Yacht Life brush. <laughs> and just buffing out the rest of the eye look as well as adding a tiny bit more black into the look. And here comes another palette by Juvia's Place which is the Festival palette and I'm taking this really pretty turquoise colour which has a really really nice silver shimmer tone to it and I'm applying that to the very inner corners of my eye and the very first third of my eye. So as you can see I've created this really pretty gradient effect with a few metallic -y blue colours. Just remember to keep going back in with little to no product from the other colours to keep the colours pigmented and blended out very nicely. Taking this carbon black eyeliner by X Lash, I'm just going to line my lash line. Alright, so now is the perfect time to tidy up any of the mess underneath your eyes before moving on to the next step. So now I'm taking the P. Louise base again and I'm going to apply it just as if it's a concealer underneath my eye. And then I'm moving on to NYX Professional Makeup's Pigment Primer. I got that in my hair. <laughs> and I'm going to be dabbing that on top of the P. Louise base. You can leave this step out if you want but I feel like the next shade, the yellow that I'm going to be using, just kind of picked up more pigmentation by applying this underneath it. If you do decide to use a pigment primer just use the tiniest amount because it does go a long way and this eye area is obviously very sensitive so just be careful. Now moving on to the yellow shade and I'm taking Lemon Drop from Coloured Rain's Vivid Pigment Palette and applying that on my lower lash line. This is a super duper pigmented yellow honestly it is so so good so you don't actually need the pigment primer but I do think it does work a lot better applying the shadow on top of the pigment primer. <laughs> and I totally forgot to get some bureau footage of the orange shade that I'm now applying on top of the yellow and it's this matte dusky orange shade called Morocco from Juvia Place's Nubian 2 eyeshadow palette. Now time for some more yellow so I'm taking the LA Girl Shockwave neon liner called Screaming and it's this incredible yellow colour I love it so much I use it almost all the time I am obsessed with this colour it's such a good liner it is so creamy as well it's not drying or anything and it's ridiculously easy to apply to your waterline now i'm just applying some more of the blue shade from the festival palette just to touch up any lost pigment before moving on to the next shade don't worry if you end up guessing it on your lower lash line like i have because we are going in with another shade which is this nyx prismatic shadow and my daughter has absolutely destroyed this i don't know if you can see it on camera but it is crumbled and broken <laughs> so yeah i'm just going to apply that on the inner corners of my eye and this is sorry in the shade mermaid and it is literally my most favorite color to apply on my inner corners i literally love this shade so much and it's heartbreaking that my daughter broke it honestly it was on the brink of breaking and i remember saying to her dad i was like can you just watch out she doesn't get her hands on it and like literally ironically the day later it was smashed so <laughs> it's okay then I'll buy like 50 more of them. So also don't forget to tidy up the prismatic shade because it can kind of disperse in random areas, especially if you have small eyes like me. And now I am taking my most favourite mascara in the whole world <laughs> and that is the Zoeva Graphic Lash Mascara 
I honestly swear by this mascara. I literally have the most crappiest lashes in the world. I mean, you can kind of see I've got like a length to the lashes now because they're non-existent, honestly. It's so frustrating. And now I'm just taking a fluffy brush and sweeping across my whole eye to make sure it's all tidy before going in with my favourite lashes by Coco Lashes and that is the Stella Pear. And now my eyes are finally done, I'm just going to go and finish off my face before moving on to the lipstick. So I'm taking Revolution's Sheer Lip in the shade Gone Rogue and it's this beautiful cinnamon brown colour and it goes on brown and then throughout the day it does lose its colour, like it fades out but it's not a bad thing at all, it leaves a really nice tint to your lips and a really nice feel so it's basically like a gloss but it's not sticky, it's so smooth and soft and especially when it does lose its pigmentation throughout the day it honestly just feels like a put lip balm on it isn't a bad gloss in the slightest and it's honestly my most favourite nude colour to go with when I don't know what lipstick colour to use it's definitely a shade that will suit so many skin tones and for £3-4 you definitely can't go wrong and lastly to finish off my makeup I'm taking the NYX Bear With Me setting spray this is such a lightweight spray and so refreshing and I absolutely love using this and it's also really good to prime your face before makeup and that is the final look so I hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial and I have made sense if you want to recreate this look please tag me on Instagram if you like and also don't forget to comment below on this video and give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already and I'll hopefully see you in my next video bye bye